Good evening, I'm Amy Hockert. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. We've gone through more than 200 pages now of court transcripts spanning several months in the Feeding Our Future case. And one thing was missing from Minnesota's argument. There's no specific evidence of fraud. Our political reporter Theo Keith joins us now. So Theo, you spent, what, 12 hours today and yesterday reading through these things. So what's your takeaway? Amy, Kelsey, the state was fighting the case with one arm tied behind its back. It unsuccessfully tried to convince a judge with technical violations and complaints about fraud that the judge called unsubstantiated. 200 plus pages of court transcripts pull back the curtain on how a case that's considered the country's biggest pandemic fraud kept going. From the very first hearing in November 2020, Minnesota education officials were hinting at fraud. They told a judge about one site whose owner didn't know Feeding Our Future had applied to serve food in its parking lot. But if the state had more specific evidence, it didn't present it in later hearings, even as the legal fight intensified. By April 2021, Feeding Our Future told the judge that the gloves were coming off. Minnesota had stopped making payments. Most of the state's justification was technical. Feeding Our Future didn't have an audit done, for one. Again, the state hinted at fraud. Education officials told the judge they took calls from three site operators who hadn't provided any meals, but Feeding Our Future had been paid for meals at those sites. But those are unsubstantiated allegations, the judge said, asking if state officials thought they could stop payments while looking into those complaints. Um, no, Your Honor, the state's lawyer said. By now you know the rest. The judge said the state had a real problem. Education officials, seeing the writing on the wall, reversed themselves and started paying Feeding Our Future while quietly contacting the FBI in April 2021. 16 months later, the feds indicted 49 people. This year, the FBI shed light on why Minnesota's fraud allegations were so vague. The state FBI agents said did not have access to bank records and couldn't figure out whether Feeding Our Future was misappropriating funds. State officials have thrown up their hands, telling me they simply lack the investigators and prosecutors that the feds have. Kelsey, Amy. All right, thank you.